I love this place. It is so beautiful. Beautiful as you. I love you, Hannah. I love you, Dan. This dream is so funny. But I just met Dan. I hope it's not what I am thinking. He is such a cool guy and also a born-again Christian. Holy Spirit. Is this new guy the one for me? Dan is not the one for you. Be careful of deceitful men. That cannot be the voice of the Holy Spirit. Dan can never be a deceitful man. He is a child of God. Jesus boy. I am going back to sleep. I think I'm in love. Lord Jesus, use me. Make me your vessel. Make me your vessel as you make Hannah your vessel. Make me a vessel unto honor according to the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 20 But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and forth, and some to honor, and some to dishonor. Holy Spirit, reveal yourself to me, show me deep things of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 10 But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit, for the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. My eyes are open to see, my ears are open to hear and I receive discernment in my spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Let us go inside. Let us leave this place, it looks horrible. There is nothing horrible in this place, babe. Bring her. Bring her in. Come with me. I love you. I will come with you. What am I doing here? Where is Dan? Hannah. What is going on? Hannah will not die in Jesus' name. Tell her to be careful of deceptive men. She should be careful of sexual immorality. Thank you Holy Spirit. Good morning Hannah. Good morning Vina. I hope there is no problem because of the way you dragged me here. I had a terrible dream last night. You have to continue steadfastly in the place of prayer to stay victorious always. It is not about me. What is it about? It is about you. Tell me. A man was trying to deceive you and was taking you to a dark room. I was trying to stop you from entering the dark room. You didn't listen to me. You were not hearing me. You followed him into the room, and all of a sudden you were alone in that room. An ugly creature came and was trying to suffocate you. You passed out. I was so scared when I woke up. Immediately I woke up, the Holy Spirit ministered to my spirit and said I should tell you to be careful if deceitful men and sexual immorality. Did you say the Holy Spirit asked you to tell me to be careful of deceitful men and sexual immorality? <laughs> Common Vina, are you playing with me? When did you start seeing and hearing the Holy Spirit? That was what I saw and that was what the Holy Spirit said to me. If the Holy Spirit has anything to say to me, he will speak to me directly. Not sending you to me. I see things, deep things of God. I hear the Spirit of God loud and clear. Do not stand there and dish me rubbish. I won't take it from you. I am not saying this thing to get you offended. I am just saying the things I heard and saw. The next time you see anything about me, please keep it to yourself. When do you become a seer? Do you still have anything reasonable to say to me? That is all I have to say, Hannah. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. I am out of here. What have I done? Can you imagine? Vina. Of all people. Telling me the Holy Spirit sent her to me.
Hey, babe. Hello, Dan. You look so beautiful. Thank you. We can't do this, Dan. Why? It implies you don't love me. I love you, Dan. I love you with all of me. If you love me with everything, then you will give me what I want. Dan, don't do this to me. Come on, babe. So far we love each other and we are going to be getting married. Are you sure you want to marry me? Yes, my love. No, no. Don't do it, Hannah. Hannah, don't fall for it. He is deceiving you. I love you. Anything for you, my love. Dan, what is going on? I have tried to reach you all to avail. I have been busy, Hannah. You didn't check on me after I sent you a message that I had been down with a fever. I just said I have been busy. All right. We need to talk. Talk about what? You have been acting strange for a while now. I don't understand what is going on. I don't understand what all this you are saying is coming from. You also did not ask how I was doing. Everything is just about you. Don't be selfish, Hannah. I am not selfish and you know it. There is something you need to know, there is something I have to tell you. What do you have to tell me, Hannah? I have been sick for a few days, I had to go to the hospital for a checkup. The doctor requested that I run some tests. I tested positive. You tested positive for what? I am pregnant, Dan. <laughs> Did you say you are pregnant? Yes, babe. Wow! Congratulations. I am so happy for you. Who is the father of the child? You. Dan. You are the father of my baby. Our baby. Are you in your right sense? I think the thing in your stomach is affecting the way you are thinking. It's not a thing. A baby is growing inside of me. Get out! Get out of my house. Listen! I am not the father of that thing you are carrying. You are a slut. Fake Christian. You cannot stand on your faith. You are sleeping around with a man who is not your husband. What are you talking about, Dan? You promised you were going to marry me. Are you naive or something? Do you listen to yourself? Are you a fool? Are you stupid? Don't constitute a nuisance here. Leave. Leave now. <laughs> what is she's blabbing? How will I marry a prostitute like you? You must be joking. I can't deal with this shame. I will just end it. End it all. End it all. Ended. I got your message, I had to leave everything I was doing. I am going to end it all. I can't stand the shame. You have to stop crying. You have to ask God for forgiveness and also forgive yourself. Lord, have mercy on me. Forgive me, Lord. What am I going to do with this pregnancy? You will keep the baby. You will be fine, Hannah. 